Hello everyone, my name is Su Kang Xiang. I'm the business manager working at Maxim Integrated, responsible for display and gesture product. Today, I'm very excited to talk to you about Maxim Automotive ASOB 4-channel TFT LCD power supply with VCOM buffer, which is called Max 25222. What are the common challenge in designing display modules? Higher current for bigger display, smaller solution size, as well as lower bomb cost, easy to use, diagnostic for safety, and programming capability for display without MCU, and pass EMI requirement. What does Max 25222 offer you? It offers you a synchronous boost for AVDD up to 200 milliamp. In addition, there is a negative AVDD inverting output up to 200 milliamp as well. And there is a VGH as well as VG off up to 15 milliamp. For VG on, which is called VGH, up to 15 milliamp, there is no external diodes needed. It is switching at 2.1 megahertz with spec spectrum to help you mitigate the EMI problem. Through I2C, it can do settings as well as complete diagnostics. In addition, it can do standalone as well. For the VCOM buffer, it has a range from positive 1 volt to negative 2.49 volt with a step size of 6.83 millivolt. It is the industry first ASOB product because we have a additional or redundant VREF inside that help you to monitor the diagnostics. It is a very small solution size, 5 mm by 5 mm with 32 pins QFM package. The 1K price is at $3.50 and it has the EV kit, which is called Max 25222. This is a system block diagram, which show you has a redundant reference that can help you to do the diagnostics that is needed for ASOB. In addition, all the rails have over voltage as well as under voltage. Through I2C and a feedback pin, MCU can be alerted and can read the register to the ICs and it will know the problem. How does the MAX 25222 help you address common divine challenges? High current for bigger display. Like I mentioned to you before, 200 millimeter and positive and negative AVDD. A 15 milliamp on VG on as well as VG off. Small solution size, highly integrated with VCOM buffer. Because it is ASOB certified, which means that there is almost zero external component, especially for the VCOM buffer. The package size is very small, 5x5 five five millimeter square. Lower bond cost, four channel output with a VCOM buffer. The AVDD side is fully synchronous, thus there is no dial needed. On the VG on side, the dials is also integrated. There is no external VREF as well as MUX needed because if you 
have the TFT bias, not ASOB rated, you need these external components. Easy to use, high level of integration, like I mentioned to you before, standalone, as well as I2C option. Also, our device is ASOB, so you don't need this extra component on the board. UV and OV on all the channels and our chip is ASOB certified, which is essential for later generation display. Non-volatile memory is built in. So if the system doesn't have MCU, you have the option to burn the OTP, then it doesn't need any MCU support. We have the spec spectrum as well as the 2.1 megahertz to help you reduce EMI problem. Are you ready to learn more? Please contact your local sales representative or distributor. If you're interested, please acquire the EV kit called Max 25222. Thank you very much for your listening.